Yeah, hi there. These comments are for, uh, I'm going to say just N-A, I'm going to use your abbreviations here for privacy purposes, and uh, I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and let's take a look at what you said, and give me just a second here, the light's turned off. Okay, here we go. I hate when that happens. If I don't move, move around a lot, the lights will cut out on me. So, all right, let's see what we have. Passage is about the dangers of producing. The reading passage is about the dangers of producing nuclear. And also, the speaker gave some example about the new. The reading passage is about the dangers of producing nuclear. It's not nuclear. Nuclear is an adjective. Nuclear what? Nuclear energy. You could say nuclear weapons, nuclear energy, a nuclear submarine or something. So nuclear is actually an adjective. You can't just leave it hanging. You need to put a noun after that. So I would say the reading is discussing the dangers of nuclear energy, like you said. And also the speaker gave some example about the nuclear risks. I would say gives an example, not some example. I would just say that the, the listening passage gives an example to illustrate those risks. First of all, according to the reading passage... I like your transition word, first of all, blah, blah, blah. And then maybe when you move to the lecture, you can say second of all. The uranium can be a dangerous weapon. The IAEA is responsible for watching what the uranium can be a dangerous weapon. I would say uranium can be a dangerous weapon. No, when you say A, you have to have a singular noun, first of all, not a plural noun. But uranium can be dangerous if it's weaponized, right? Weaponized uranium can be dangerous because uh, people can use it to produce a nuclear bomb, right? So you probably need to be a little more specific there. The IAEA is responsible for watching for the nuclear facilities and open proliferations. But some countries have a shortcoming in safety. Even though the agency watching World Nuclear, it cannot detect all the version of nuclear materials. Second of all... But what does that mean, actually? I, th I think you're saying things, but I don't even think you know what you're talking about, really. But they're trying to say that the agency cannot monitor all countries and specifically what they're using their uranium for. A, are they using their uranium to produce a weapon? Or B, are they using it for nuclear energy? That's, you're not exactly saying that, but that's what you're trying to say. Well, the speaker gave example about nuclear risks. First, second of all, the speaker gave example. No, the speaker gives. You want to make sure when you have speaker, which is a singular uh, noun, you want to make sure your verb is also singular. So the speaker gives about nuclear risks. First, a nuclear reactor, a new SSR exploded. World nuclear, it cannot detect all the version of nuclear materials. Second of all, the speaker gave example. That's good. I like the first of all, second of all thing. I like how you're using transition words in order to show how your ideas are connected. That is a good strategy in terms of organizing your ideas. It makes it easier for me to understand what you're saying. About nuclear risks. First, a nuclear reactor, a new SSR exploded. Second, 30 people were killed, include 28 from radiation. Third, thousands of cancer because of the accident. Fourth, the thousands of what? were killed, include 28 from radiation. Third, thousands of cancer because of the accident. Thousands of cancer because of, no, thousands of people developed cancer because of the radiation fallout or the radioactive fallout from the explosion. So you didn't really completely explain that idea. Accident. Fourth, the fallout from the explosion was far-reaching. Okay, so I, I think overall, let's take a look at the rubric. So you're having some pronunciation issues. Uh, I'd like to have you look in my in my online course. Go to the lessons on syllable division and grammatical word endings. I think it's like lesson 25, 26, 27, something along, something right, right around there. Uh, language use. 
you had some problems with language use. You could not completely explain the information from the reading passage or the lecture. You're leaving out information sometimes, so I feel that you have some grammar and some vocabulary limitations. It's preventing you from fully expressing your ideas, so that is a language use issue. Uh, topic development, again, I think you didn't completely, I think, explain everything, so that's a minor uh, a, a, a minor issue there too. So uh, I'm going to put you in the two range here. I'm going to put you at about 2.3. But you still, I think you're making some improvements. I don't know what your previous score was. I don't even look at it. I score each practice test independently. I don't look at what any of your previous scores were. I just look at the rubrics. And by the way, in the email that I sent to you, I have a link you can copy. You can click on that to understand how I scored your speaking today. So I'm putting you at 2.3 out of 4, 18 points out of 30. And then if you go into the syllabus, you have to go to page 9, and you look at 2.3, that's going to put you at 80% on this particular assignment. And this one, I'll be honest with you, this was very tough. So I think you did a pretty good job uh, on this uh, most difficult speaking task.